Club. that very very <laughs> so let's hear yours okay what would i say domestic violence is uh it can be said to be an act of involving great force or intensity using excessive physical force to my understanding i think when you're violent it means you're assaulting someone in a manner that the they do not want, or maybe you want something, but you don't ha know how to go about it. And because somebody tries to resist you, you, you become violent. I think that is one of the major reasons why we have domestic violence in our society today. Because if you have a way and know how to approach somebody to ask for something, especially between opposite sex, between a man and a woman, I think we would not be having domestic violence around us. Let's take Chacha Iki for example. Uh, I think she got divorced recently with the husband because he assaulted her home and stuff like that. Or let's use Osina, the gospel singer, who died as a result of domestic violence. I think Chacha Iki in question was smart. I wouldn't say Osina, she was the one. Due to personal reasons or best known to her, if I, if I would say, she stayed back. It could probably be because she loved the husband or she loved the children because they had kids. That was why she decided to stay, but it resulted to her dying. So uh, domestic violence, I'll say, it's a really, really uh, major factor in our society today, especially to married women. Because in the case of a boyfriend and a girlfriend, uh, I don't think it occurs too often because they don't stay together. But in the result of a man and a wife, they live together in the house. Who knows for how long she has suffered that domestic violence, but maybe she didn't have a platform to air her view or to tell it to someone because she felt she was too godly or I don't know how to put it. So what are your solutions? Uh, my solution is, I think before getting into marriage with someone, you should, you should go into courtship first get to know your spouse, know their anger level. If it's something you can contain, then you should get into marriage with them. But if it's something you can't contain, I think you should you should back out because it is better you are alive and not marrying the one you love other than marrying the person you claim to love and die along the, along the line. Because you're definitely going to get married again unless if he's sentenced to death or sentenced to life imprisonment. But your, but, but, but your solutions now is just streamlined into one one like one yes like uh, one I basket let me put it out because doma like domestic violence can yeah. happen in the office not necessarily between the two spouse it can, yes, happen, yes, yeah. it can, it can happen in a relationship yes of course, of course. Not, it's not necessarily uh, marriage. yes i was going to get to that but i but there's no time should have just given us the point yes, so yeah, i specified in the marital aspect because i think that is one of the major factors that we suffer in the society though it happens it happens both ways mm -hmm. it happens both ways even in relationships that was why I decided to make use of marriage because I think that is the end point after relationship. Then he told I want to buy a sex door and slaps um that went to a sex door shop and slaps the attendant there. Yes. That's the maximum. So it's not necessarily Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes, of course. But yes. I like the fact that you explained all your stuff, but yes. your you, you since you know you don't have time, you should have given us your solutions in one you have just said in marriages in offices instead of saying only marriage you get ahead so okay. it's a good presentation thank you um sina yeah it's a good presentation though it needs more it's too skeletal it needs more information to make it more concrete and more impacting more um, effective okay Okay, so and you were moving from side to side. At some point, I got distracted because I was trying to 
follow you up. In oral presentation, you are supposed to get extremely comfortable with your right up. You only do movements when you seem you ought to. Not I noticed that's how you should work on it in your because when you're doing like this, you distract a lot of people from even what you're seeing. In time in th in the line of teaching, they will tell you that. Okay? So in terms of oral presentation, don't make your work too skeletal. Try to do more research on it and then know how to come up with something more concrete that can hold water and then hold your aud audience to be more engaging in what you're seeing. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.